When I want to get my RC on, I go to Crawler Ted's Garage. Hey guys, Crawler Ted here. Uh, I'm in the garage. I uh, have a new camera in my hand that I'm trying out and uh, it's kind of cold and crappy, you know, I haven't felt like going and doing anything outside. I'm testing it out to make sure I like it and stuff first. I really don't want to drop it in the river or anything stupid like that, you know how it goes. Um, so I thought, well, what can I do here to do a little... I've got a little bit of footage with it already, not not that much. Uh, I should have done some more last night at the garage when we were crawling, but uh, I used the old camera. Paranoid. <laughs> anyway, so I decided, uh, okay, well what I'll do is uh, I've got a bunch of stuff on the benches out here, you know, like projects I'm working on, this and that and the other thing. So I thought I'm just going to take a walk down the bench, kind of show you what I'm working on. Um, you know, just talk about a little bit of some of the stuff that I've got laying out here on the bench. That'll give me enough uh, footage to, uh, uh, you know, see what the what the camera's like, how it works out. Um, I'm already loving the look of the uh, the viewfinder over here. Not the viewfinder, but the, the screen, sorry. Uh, flip towards me, it looks great, very nice. It's bigger, it looks awesome. Um, anyway. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to start at this side of the bench. We'll go over what the camera and stuff is later. It's, uh, for now, I just want to test it out. So I'm going to start right here. CTG, Crawler Ted's Garage. All of my decals and uh, this, this board, um, uh, all of that stuff is all made by my buddy Terry over at TRCC. So uh, a big shout out to Terry. Terry at TRCC. Not only does he do a lot of stuff for me, he's done a whack of stuff for our club as well with uh, scoreboards, uh, clipboards, uh, you know, this, that, and the other thing, different things, uh, vinyl. He, he, you know, he, he does stuff for everybody. The guy does more stuff. I don't even know how the heck he does everything he does. I swear, I've said that right to his face. I don't know how he does as much stuff as he does in a day. It's amazing. The guy's a machine, I gotta tell you. So check him out. That's trcc.tv. He's got a YouTube channel. Lots of good stuff over there as well. So check him out for sure. So anyway, here we go. First thing, right on the corner, check it out. That's one of JD's wheels off of his uh, Sportsman. Well, it's been a pro rig for him up until this point. We're, he's going to dedicate it to Sportsman. Uh, we're going to share his Sportsman rig, his uh, AX10 rig, and build him a Berg. He's going to you know, run both now, get into the pro class. So that's an actual Berg wheel is what that is, out of the Berg kit. So we're going to ditch those Berg wheels. He can run them on his trail truck or something. Look at this, look what we got from our buddy Casey at KC Hobbycraft. Check that out. Are those just the most beautiful wheel? These ones are amazing. I hadn't really seen these. I'm a little behind in all the wheels and such. I haven't really been paying attention too much. Uh, you know, I just haven't really been looking for new wheels, so I haven't been, you know, keeping up on what's out there and that. But these are just beautiful. Really nice wheel. Typical Vanquish, eh? They're just simply amazing. Check it out. He even likes them. I don't even know who that guy is. He just wandered in here and holding on to a wheel, so I don't know. Anyway, here's my Lozy Mini Crawler. You know, I've been really happy with the performance on this thing the last couple of, uh, the last two comps. Previous to that, I swear to God, I couldn't get through a round and it would blow up on me. So I've made it through two comps. I actually finished quite well with it the last time, so I'm pretty happy with it. That's always good. Check out these new slingers, eh? I haven't cut them or anything yet. I intend to do a little uh, cutting and lugging on them. Um, they're probably going to end up on my uh, Hustler project, so it's so nice. There's nothing like new tires, eh? You know what I mean? Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, new tires. Yeah, I like new tires. Check this out. Claude Buster. You know, I, I'm terrible for the name of this chassis. You know, I really should know this. Um, Pathetic. I know somebody's gonna jump on me because I'm so stupid that I don't know what this chassis is, and uh, rightly so. I've had this one for a while. I actually bought it off of a forum member on Calgary RC. I did not build this truck myself. Um, he put up some stuff for sale. I had to have this. This thing is just beautiful. It's such a nice truck. Uh, even the lid, I mean, look at that. He did such a sick job on this thing. Beautiful. Uh, Milton Safeway Buggy on our forum is who built this one. I believe his name is Justin. So, 
I've recently gotten some electronics and such, some dual motor ESCs that I'm going to uh, bring this clod and another clod back to life and get them out on the trail. So, uh, I'm, you know, it's a beautiful truck, should be a shelf queen, but I'm just not like that. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to run it. I'm going to take it out and drive it and enjoy it. Look at those tires, man. Beefcake. Beefcake. Here, I'll try and give you something to compare. Look. So that's a 2-2 mudslinger. Okay, that's a 2-2 mudslinger on top of a RC four-wheel drive. This is the Mudslinger's XT tires. It's a big, that's a big fat tire, man. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? It's it's over two mudslingers wide. <laughs> if she's over two mudslingers wide, never mind. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Check this out. A uh, new tool I got for to go with uh, some, the new camera and the old camera. Just another uh, something to help with some shots. So this goes down like so for my hand and I'll be able to have the camera mounted right on there and get some low shots. It's fully extendable. I think it's going to be a really handy tool. So Anyway, hey, I told you we were going to work our way down the bench. <laughs> Check it out. Vanquish Tranny, that's going to go in Bodacious. So now we're getting into my Bodacious build over here. Oh, wait a minute. Why is there a jet boat where the Bodacious build is? That doesn't even make sense. Right? Tell you what. My Terran 2 jet boat. I need to order an impeller. It's broken. You can see this puppy. Check it out. Mini Revo Electronics. It's the Mini Revo ESC in there. Mini Revo motor. It's a 2075 waterproof Traxxas servo. That is a Traxxas 2.4 uh, receiver that has been decased and plasti dipped with black plasti dip. Uh, spray version. And uh, there's the broken impeller. See it hiding in there? Uh, I was complaining about the performance of this boat the last few runs out, and it was because the impeller was broken. I thought it was the ESC or something. <laughs> But uh, anyway, awesome boat. I love it. Can't wait to get it back out. I'm going to get those parts ordered right away. Bodacious. Bodacious. My Bullhead SCX build with a uh, trailer. Um, this thing is just getting out of control. There's more and more things being added all the time. I've got more and more of our club members and other club members and local guys helping me with this project. There's lots going on. Um, these are the wheels and tires for Bodacious. It's going to be running dually, so there's six there, you can see. Uh, RC four-wheel drive, true scale uh, beadlock wheels. These are from my original uh, trail finder. One of the guys, Rookie 101, or Aaron, from one of the Calgary Crawlers guys from the, from the garage. Check it out. He had a set of them at home, hooked me up with them at no cost. Zero dollar. That's Awesome, I can't even believe it. Look, check it out. He not only did he give me four, five, a spare as well. I couldn't believe it. So, bodacious wheels, trailer wheels. The rings will all match at that point, trust me. But matching tires, or sorry, matching wheels, rings, the tires are going to differ. We're going to run flat irons on the trailer, and the Bodacious is getting the 1.9 IROC Swampers, uh, six of them, because they're just a badass tire, man. Look at that. Those are going to look sick on the truck. And the flat irons, they're perfect for a trailer, I think. So, you know, check it out. Rings. They came with the stock rings from Aaron. Thanks a lot, Aaron. That's that's just awesome, man. I can't even believe that. Uh, I really appreciate that. It uh, it uh, you know I'm going to use them. They're going to look great on that trailer, and uh, yeah, muchly appreciated. That's my buddy, Rookie 101, Aaron from uh, one of the Calgary Crawlers. So. Um, center caps as well. That's the nice thing about those wheels. They do have the center caps and everything. They're going to look really sick. So. Um, I could have went with a newer wheel. I know there's lots of new wheels and stuff out there, but hey, these look pretty nice. I really like them. Um, I've had them for a long time. I've used them in a couple of different things, so I think this is going to work great for them. <laughs> Vanquish. What I have here is a Vanquish dig unit for the AX10 Tranny. I bought a new one. I'll tell you what. JD's Sporty Rig. Okay. We have... Uh, I've totally disassembled... J here, I'll, I'm going to hop over here. I've totally disassembled JD's sporty rig because um, we're going to remove the dig and uh, just give it a little bit of love and a little work over. The sporty class here is starting to take off. We, we know it's going to grow. There's enough interest, enough guys. So we decided to uh, tweak Jay's rig. So um, getting rid of the dig and the dig servo is it's a weight issue and, and other things, right? You know, so if we're not going to be running it, may as well ditch it. So anyway, 
I was hesitant to use J's in my bodacious build. I thought, ah, I'm gonna buy a new Vanquish dig unit. I'll run a brand new one because once I take his out, that dig unit has been in Jay's truck since I built this rig. Now I used to run this rig here in the garage uh, competing against the Bergs and such before I made the switch to Berg, right? To MOA, for example. Um, uh, anyway, when I took the Vanquish dig out of Jay's truck and compare it to the brand new one, I may take the brand new one back and run the one with a Jay's truck. I swear to God, it's like that. You know, it's it's perfect. It's it's flawless. It's it still works great. It's in great shape. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So I don't know if I'm going to run the new one, or uh, maybe I'll run the new one and we'll sell the old one. I really don't know. But it's a great dig unit. I got to tell you, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Anyway, continuing down the bench. Bada boom, bada bing. Curry axles. That's right, Vanquish, Curry Axles, two, for Bodacious, just because, I mean, uh, the, the axles and stuff, I don't have Bodacious here, it's it's uh, in the hands of one of the other guys right now, but uh, the axles are already built in it, so basically I'm just going to take all the innards and, and parts off and add them to the, to the uh, Curry Axles, I mean, these things are just sick, right? just so nice they just look so trick check it out so here's all the parts the tubes the cover here's the housing the truss okay skid plate okay uh, I also have the link kit which I believe is gonna work I may have to use a couple longer rod ends but because I extended uh, bodacious wheelbase slightly uh, and here's the retainers for your spool and such <sighs> for the ring gear um, yeah, I'm sure these are going to work even though I extended the wheelbase a little bit because I can use longer rod ends. Okay, so there we go. That's that side of the bench covered. Boom, let's go over here. What do we got here? Another one of the guys, local guys, uh, off of our forum, Calgary RC. Juarez420, he is a, he's big on his uh, fifth scale, the Lozy 5T right now. He's been, he's always, he's into all different kinds of stuff. He's been around for a long time. Anyway, I got this from him recently. He put it up that uh, he was getting rid of it. Uh, it's a 124 scale Pajero. So that's gonna fit perfectly on my tracker. Like this thing is just sick, I can't even believe it. Look at the box, that's a good looking rig, eh? That's a nice Pajero right there. I'll show you the lid. Look at that. That is awesome, eh? Of course, everything's in there. Full interior, the whole nine yards. Check this out. Even some uh, 124th scale rally driver, co-driver set. So I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go with the interior on that. I'll have to see what happens. Um, here is the, uh, here's one of my trail trekkers right here. I can just pop the Dodge lid off. And we can just set this uh, on there. You can see the wheelbase is slightly off, but it would be easy to adjust it to match. But uh, I think that would look really good on there. Yeah, that's gonna look sick. Uh, quick shot of my bird, check it out. So, Berg Axles, Juice, Chassis, V4 Juice. Uh, I need to do some work on my cab. This is a cab I created myself, and it turns out it's it's kind of hindering me. Um, I have a lot of issues. When I get upside down, I cannot write myself. So I'm actually gonna make a new cab right away here that's gonna hopefully change that. So, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, here's the wheels. Like I say, I run the uh, Deluxe Clear clear wheels. I've been running these now for quite a while since I came out with them and uh, problem free, trouble free. I like them. I got no reason to change them at this point. I, uh, this truck is not as blingy as a lot of the ones you see in our shop. Okay, I'll tell you what. A lot of the guys at Ted's Garage are running all the new carbon fiber, you know, blah, 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 this and that and the other thing. I'm still running uh, a dirty old Berg. I mean, this this guy's got some upgrades, right? I got the Clover Custom Tubes. Um, Casey recently hooked me up with the big bores. He, he built those and set them up for me and got help me out with that um, what else uh, twin FXRs uh, you know I've got the man gears I got the super 300s up front I got the deluxe weight system knuckle weights um, what else my buddy Terry TRCC 
That's how my skull got lit up, dude. That wasn't me. That was Terry. He's got it all set up. Plugs right into my receiver. Again, great, man. Thanks a lot. Paul links. These are made by Paul, stylist, off our forum. Uh, I changed these a, a couple of times already and ended up going back to them. They work freaking great. They, the clearances, it's they're just they're really good. They work great. If it works, why fix it, right? Vanquish, um, I believe these are Wraith bent links on the for, for my front lowers. And there again, they work awesome. For the uppers, I'm running actual Berg links, some of the aluminum links that came with my Berg. My motors are brewed. 35 turn motors kick ass those are sweet motors i'll tell you what uh, i'm running a pair of 14 well 14 tooth pinion on each each side front and back um i guess that's pretty much it the axles rear axle axle masters also you know bulletproof man good stuff once you build one of these and you build it right you put the good parts in dude they take all kinds of punishment i mean I don't baby this rig. I dish out punishment all the time. This thing pushes rocks, moves rocks. I mean, it's it's a it's a monster. I swear to God, <laughs> works great. I love it. Uh, okay, so JD's rig. Recognize that lid? That's JD's Calgary Crawlers maintenance crew. That's our boy JD. Tell you what, rules in the in the way they're written in the US RCCA, two people can run a rig, can run the same truck in a comp competition event and that so again we're sticking by the rules that's what we're, the rules we're running by now so we are adhering to them <coughs> so a lot of guys are doing that because we all run the pro rigs um, teaming up on the sportsman rigs is a way to save a couple dollars you know what I mean so that seems to be the way a lot of guys are going with it so JD and myself same thing why not right so basically JD has my old AX10 GC2 rig, okay, and I sold it to him way back. He's been running it for a few, I don't know, a few years, I guess. And uh, he, he does fine with it. The, the truck works great, dude. We have no issues with it. So we're really not going to make that much for changes. It's going to get a clean and refurb. You know what I mean? Like, it's dirty, it's nasty, it's been running for a long time. Um, this kind of stuff is all staying the same. Unless I can find a reason to tweak my links a little bit, maybe more, I'll check. I mean, I'm totally up to that, but we'll see what happens. Steering is the biggest issue, because we're running the stock AX10 setup. As you can imagine, that's the killer, right? I need to improve the steering. So we're going to work on that. There's a few different ways to throw uh, XR10 steering on the front of this. So that's what we're going to be shooting for. Other than that, it's going to be pretty straightforward build. Uh, power plant. Holmes Hobbies, check it out, Torque Master 540. This one's been on there for, for years. That's the motor, nice motor that I bought to run on this rig. And uh, when I sold it to Jay, that motor stayed on there. It's been running on there, never been touched, never been taken out. So all I'm gonna do with that is some new brushes. Uh, PM Hobby carries Holmes Hobby stuff. So fortunately, I can go right there, grab the new brushes right off the shelf. I'm going to take my calm stick and just clean the calm a little bit, nice and easy, nothing too crazy, and throw her back in. And it'll go again for a few more years, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, FXR, FXR and 3-cell. Uh, Jay generally runs this 1100 model. We'll try and knock that down a little bit and get down to a little bit smaller lipo. We're running MIPs on this rig, it always has been. These MIPs are also are in great shape. You, you know, they're just like new. There's nothing wrong with them. Clean them, run them, go again. To lose some weight, we may switch to plastic. I'm not sure. I like the durability of the MIPs. So sometimes it's worth it to sacrifice durability for weight. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Um, inside the tranny, I forgot to pick up the idler gear. I was going to do that yesterday. Uh, I have a brand new uh, RRP spool that's going to go in there. There we go. See how those teeth are worn? They're just, they're starting to get sharp. I mean, this tranny literally has been running for years, man. With that Vanquish dig attached, it's never had an issue, never failed, Jay. So we've never had, he's never opened it up. But you can see there's definitely some wear on these teeth. Like, they're all very sharp. They're worn out. I'm going to put a new one in. If we put new gears into it now, uh, the new spool, new idler gear, uh, you know, it, it's going to be awesome. No worries that way. Same thing with the discs. Um, he was running overdrive in the front and the stock uh, rear 
So now I've gone upgraded them to the again we're 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 doing this fairly low budget. I'm going to be honest. We're not. That's why again we haven't ordered up a new carbon fiber chassis and and titanium this that and the other thing because <laughs> it's a low budget build. Jay's JD. We're trying to get him rebuilding his sportsman and trying to get him get him into a Berg build at the same time. So it's you know we're trying to do it budget friendly as much as possible. That's where we're at. And it's totally doable. There's no reason you can't do it. It doesn't all have to be big budget. Anyway, so upgraded. It's just simply the bevel gear set. The stock, still the stock gearing, but bevel gear set in the rear. Why? Because that's what I had. If I had an underdrive, we would over and underdrive it, but I don't, so we're just using the stock one. Uh, the front is overdrive. Okay, it has the overdrive gears on it, the axial upgraded overdrive. Uh, front and back, Felsen Fest, zero slop lockers. Okay. Uh, Trekker is not part of this build. Vanquish rear lockouts. Um, there's the Berg wheels that, as I say, we're going to be ditching. This thing's definitely going to shed a little weight through the whole process. Uh, shocks on this one is just simply Lozy shocks. That's what's been running since uh, since the start. So why change it now? Again, clean them up. I'm going to change the spring rates. We're going to go from whites. I think I have some gold and grays. Um, uh, change the shock oil. You know, again, just just give them a work over, a little bit of a refurb, they'll be great. So the tranny case I'm going to replace. Oh no, that's sorry, that's I'm thinking of uh, bodacious. The tranny case, yeah, that's right here. It's all good. Nothing wrong with that. So uh, I guess that's it. Okay, and yeah, just an assortment of couple of micros, microcopters, mini copters, mini quad, micro quad, dwagster, microplane. Did I just say dwagster? <laughs> awesome. Hey, an old Ridgecrest chassis that's been abandoned. Okay, so that's it. Well, I think that'll work. I, I hope you enjoyed the little tour down my workbenches here. Uh, like I say, this was a, a camera test. Looks like we, wow, 23 minutes, 23 minutes. That's a long walk down the workbenches, isn't it? Uh, I'll tell you what, well, if you watched it all, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I appreciate uh, you guys watching my channel <laughs> and uh, checking out the videos. Uh, we're always looking for ways to keep it interesting, freshen it up for you, so, and improve. That's why I got the new camera. I'm hoping maybe that'll, uh, you know, improve some of my shots and stuff. Uh, it never hurts to uh, upgrade your equipment, doesn't matter what you're doing, right? So.